Dallas, Texas, where a spectacle unfolds before the masses. This chase has been going on for half an hour now. An urban cowboy in a stolen lumber truck wheels about the city as if he's on parade. Having fun, he was having some fun. Yeah, he's crazy. Crowds gather to watch the chase unfold. Many onlookers are simply curious. Others actually encourage the truck rustler. Oh, that one guy, he just gave him a high five. Unbelievable. But officers know how dangerous this situation really is. For every pedestrian enjoying the show, there's a commuter scrambling for his life to avoid being crushed. Officers are ill-equipped to deal with a vehicle this large. Ramming it is impossible, and disabling its tires may take more time than they can spare. He's on the wrong side of the road, and all lanes are blocked. He's gonna have to turn. The one thing they do know, they can't afford a wait and see approach. The driver's idea of fun is menacing bystanders, even the ones who are cheering him on. You can see people running away as he turns into that parking lot and uh, just scattering. It's time for action. Police move in, taking aim at the truck's wheels. 18 moving targets. The bullets connect, but the solution proves to be worse than the problem. There is a lot of black smoke coming from the back of the truck. Not only does the truck have enough tires to keep moving, but its exposed rims grind into the asphalt. Sparks leap to the semi's cargo, and in seconds, the lumber goes up in a burst of flames. And now the truck is on fire. This is incredibly dangerous. The Big Rig Buckaroo's joyride now has fiery repercussions. This is no longer just a truck on the loose. It's a runaway inferno. A burning wheel suddenly blows loose and careens down the street, an unguided chunk of rolling brimstone. Pieces are flying off now. The driver presses on, relishing the bizarre turn of events. But police are about to fight fire with firepower. A white van rushes up to the semi. Inside, a tactical team of officers with orders to use deadly force. As the driver turns across a highway median, his frayed wheels get hung up on the curb. Police see their chance. Okay, he's stopped now, and, and officers are getting out. It looks like they have their guns drawn. And look, look, you can see one running up to the cab there. It, no, I think he's firing. Bullets rip through the cab as the suspect pulls away. Police aren't sure if he got hit, but one thing becomes clear very quickly. He's not giving officers another shot at him. He is really moving now, and it's hard over that curb. He really jostles the payload. The suspect panics and charges down a city street as fire continues to gnaw at the truck's lumber. Frantic to lose his pursuers, he gets an insane idea. The, the cab is, is swerving there, and oh, the lumber has fallen off all over the roadway. With a jerk of the wheel, he shakes the ravaged load loose, spilling dozens of planks into the street. Cruisers fight to stay on the semi's tail. With half the truck's cargo still threatening to topple, including a flaming forklift, officers can't get too close. Even worse, they can't get ahead to warn other vehicles. Oh no, there's a school bus! It's, oh no, the lumber hits the school bus! Police race forward, desperate for one more shot at the driver. but the semi swerves wildly, holding them at bay. As badly as police want this chase to end, they don't want to involve any more civilians. They wait for another opportunity. But just as they prepare to move in again, the suspect does something completely unexpected. Along a quiet stretch of highway, he rolls to a stop. It turns out that the tactical team had been successful after all. During the shootout, the suspect was grazed. Wounded, tired, and no longer having fun, he finally decides to surrender. But as he's taken into custody, officers make a startling discovery. 
this man had stolen another truck just weeks ago. But instead of showing up for his trial, he skipped out and went on another joyride instead. Even under arrest, he flashes a devious grin for the cameras. Instead of just going down in a court of law, he had more fun going down in a blaze of glory. Oh.